Lee here with uh, part one of a two-part video where we're going to introduce you to Composer. Uh, when you first open up Composer, uh, you'll have a little dialog box that uh, will give you some helpful hints. You can turn this off if you want to uncheck the box here, show tips at startup. And we're going to close that right now. So a handy little thing to keep you up to date on what you different little things you can do with Composer. Um, one thing that it has is a site manager and we will go to the show hide and go down to the sidebar which you can toggle with uh, using the F9 key and this is a handy little navigation deal if you have quite a few uh, web pages in your site and you can bring this up and it'll help you navigate uh, right now we'll go ahead and turn that off and you'll notice we got uh, the different toolbars. We've got rulers that you can uh, enable. Turn the sidebar off. Uh, over in the file menu, of course, you got open and uh, recent pages, close, save, save as. You'll use that a lot if you're using a template. And publish. But uh, for publish, I prefer FileZilla uh, or uh, core FTP Lite for uploading my site to the server but you can go ahead and use this if you would if you so desire um, we also have a uh, browse if you want to browse it in your current uh, default browser and then of course exit and go up to edit we have a undo redo cut copy and paste and you can find uh, check spelling if you want and over to view of course we have our show hide for the using this the sidebar and uh, here's a preview uh, you can use uh, down here the design or the HTML source view which is also available down on the bottom taskbar you can uh, switch to source and then you'll uh, see your uh, source code you can also split it if you'd like in which uh, source code will appear below the uh, design view and let's go back to the design view uh, insert uh, you can insert a table, a form, uh, links. We have uh, later videos that will show you uh, uh, how to insert links. Um, a horizontal line. And there's a little deal here for PHP code, which I don't recommend because uh, most WYSIWYG editors, including Composer, don't handle PHP very well. As soon as you put it in and you save it, it starts adding odd uh, lines of code. So what you do we have a later video that will show you how to get around this, but go ahead and, and design your uh, website. For any PHP you need to put in, you, you need to open up your uh, web page with a notepad uh, text editor and insert your PHP. And then just be sure and take your PHP back out with the notepad before you go in with uh, Composer to uh, make any changes. Um, got characters and symbols if you'd like to add those uh, and I'm going to show you on let's say that you have a link uh, and you I'm going to cover this in a later video but let's see if we can uh, find a a folder here where we've got some uh, things to illustrate what I'm getting ready to show you Okay, so let's say that you have a folder that has an uh, unusual file, uh, not another HTML page, but say uh, an AVI or a Flash uh, video, and you need to, you want to link to that uh, so that people can watch it. So let's open this up, and this particular one is adding a player to your Cam Studio movie. Let's open it up, and the only thing that we see here, if we have HTML files uh, uh, activated, 
is the index, of course, and your image folder. But we know somewhere in here we've got uh, a uh, flash or a video that we need to access and we want to link to. So what we need to do is go down here and in not text file but go down to all files, open all files and now you can see that we have a uh, an F, uh, flash video uh, movie that we can uh, we can now link to where we couldn't see that before. So just remember that and when I get into uh, linking uh, we'll cover this again, but this is just a little heads up here that if you can't find a file and you know what's in there, then just go down here and change it to all files. So, okay, let's uh, go ahead and get out of that and cancel this. And format, uh, you can change the font size, uh, text style, uh, and you can also do that over... Uh, in this little window, but let's stick with the format here and increase the indent. Uh, this is where you're also going to control the page colors and background, uh, your page title and properties. Uh, you just double click that or click that and go ahead and put your title in uh, and your description and it will then show up in your source code under your meta content and uh, also your title, your head. So uh, a lot of pages uh, just have uh, untitled on them because people didn't go in and change. As soon as they go ahead and uh, make the new page, they don't bother going up and changing the title. So just be sure you do that. Uh, table, we can insert uh, select different areas, a row or a column, and delete. And then, of course, table properties. Usually you can double click within the table to get table properties, but uh, anyway, you can select it from the table. Uh, tools, uh, you've got, uh, you can validate your HTML, or uh, if you want to work with CSS, uh, cascading style sheets, this is where you would access that also. Or you could also uh, access it from the toolbar. Uh, preferences, uh, if you want to change any of these. Uh, that's also available to you. Cancel that. And uh, that's pretty much what's going to cover part one. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll look forward to seeing you in part two. Uh, thanks for watching.